Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the integers n, x, y, and z as the input and print the first n terms of a defined series, like the first n terms of a following series that is the first three terms of the series is x y and z and the fourth term is the sum of the first term and the second term and fifth term is the sum of second term and the third term and sixth term is the sum of third term and the first term so similarly we'll have for other terms that is for seventh term it is the sum of the fourth term and the fifth term and for eighth term it is sum of fifth term and the sixth term and for ninth term it is the sum of sixth term and fourth term. So now we are first accepting the n, x, y, z integers and we should print the first n terms of the following series that is the first three terms of the series is x, y, z and the fourth term is the sum of first and second term and we'll have so on. So we'll take our first test case. So in this test case, we'll have n integers as 10 and the first three integers, that is the first three terms of the series is x, y and z. So first term is 10, so second term is 40 and the third term is 20. So our fourth term will be sum of first and second term. So fourth term equal to 10 plus 40 that is 50 and fifth term is the sum of second term and third term. So 40 plus 20 it is 60 and sixth term is the sum of third term and the first term. So 20 plus 10. So it is 30 and seventh term is the sum of fourth term and the fifth term that is 50 plus 60 that is 110 so 50 plus 60 is 110 then eighth term is the sum of fifth term and the sixth term 60 plus 30 that is 90 and ninth term is the sum of sixth term and the fourth term 50 plus 30 it is 80 and the 10th term will be the sum of 7th term and the 8th term that is 200. So these are our 10 terms and this will be our output. Now we we'll understand the logic of this program. So the logic is first 
the three terms are x y and z as given and if the term is that is if the term number mod 3 is equal to equal to 2 or 1 means then the sum of the term that is the sum of term minus 3 that is minus 3 plus term minus 2 and in the else part we'll have sum of term minus 6 plus term minus 4. So this is our formula that is consider the term to be 6th term. So if we have 6th term in 6 mod 3 is 0. So it will go to the else part. So we'll have the sum of the term that is here it is 5. So the sum of term that is 6 minus 5 and 6 minus 3. So 6 minus 5 is 1 and 6 minus 3 is 3. So we'll have the first term and the third term. In the same way if we have consider the term number to be 7 means 7 mod 3 will have 2 or 1. So 7 minus 3 is 4 and 7 minus 2 is 5. So we'll have fourth term and the fifth term. So by using this we'll solve the problem accordingly. Now let us implement our program. First we'll get the inputs n, x, y, z input of dot split off and after getting the input then we'll have the series with the list of the first three terms as x, y, z and we'll iterate the loop that is for CTR in range 4 comma n plus 1 that is after the first three terms we'll have the fourth term and up to n plus 1 and we'll have the condition that is if CTR mod 3 is equal to equal to 1 or CTR mod 3 is equal to equal to 2 means then the series will be appended with the series of CTR minus 3 that is the current term minus 3 and then we'll have to add the series of CTR minus 2. The index starts from 0. So we'll have 1, 2, here it is 4 and here it becomes 3. And in the else part we'll have the series dot append of the series of CTR minus 6 plus series of CTR minus 4 and then finally we'll print asterisk series now let us execute our program we'll pass our first test case so yes we have got the correct output our program has passed all our given test cases successfully hope you guys understand Thanks for watching. See you next video.